If you loved Anakin's Cool Fire 4, you're really gonna love this. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. Inakin always makes great products. That's, that's something that I can always count on. They're always going to be reliable. They're always going to be safe. Uh, you look at their manuals and it's page after page of warning and safety things and all that kind of stuff. And that's because they actually care about the end user. They're not some fly-by-night company. They make great things for people that are new to vaping. And if you're an experienced vapor, they also make things for you as well. And they've really seemed to step up their game in the last year. Lots of new releases, new mods, new tanks, new coils and all that. And today, we're going to be looking at all of that. Well, everything except for new tanks. There is a new version of the iSub-G, a blacked out version that I do have to show you. But we're going to look at some new coils for the iSub-G series tanks, and we're going to be looking at the new version of the Cool Fire 4. This is the Cool Fire 4 Plus larger battery, more wattage. It is not a temperature control device. If you're looking for that, hang on, because Inakin has one of those coming too. I believe they call it the Cortex. We got Clapton coils now. We've got Ni200 coils and some 2.0 ohm coils if you're, you know, want to do the mouth to lung or you're new to vaping and don't want to max out with all that vapor. Most specifically though, the Cool Fire 4 Plus is what we're looking at. And we're also going to give away a Cool Fire 4 Plus and it's, uh, I believe you're going to get an iSub-G Apex tank in there. If not, it's going to be an iSub-G tank. They have different ones in the different kits and they sent me four different kits they got black red blue and silver and i've got the red and silver ones to give away one of those i'm going to give away on instagram so make sure you watch the instagram account if you're already following me great if you're not following me on there well go check it out it's vapor trail channel all one word to win here on youtube just fill out the google form that's right here at the top of the description all the information you're going to need about the drawing is in there and people ask me all the time well how do i know if i won if you win you're going to know at least if you check your email because i ask you for your actual email in there make sure that it is not you know make sure it's an email account that you check all the time and check your spam folder on giveaway day because you never know let's go ahead and dig in and check out the cool fire 4 plus okay let's go through some of this stuff real quickly here we've got some 0.2 ohm coils that they sent along these are going to be more for your mouth to lung hitters you know if you're somebody who is just getting off cigarettes and you're you're not used to all that vapor production and all that stuff well these are probably going to be better they're rated at 10 to 16 watts got a couple boxes of those we also have a box of Ni200 coils here, and it's good to see that they have more coil options because they know that their people are going to be using their tanks on other mods because right now there is no temp control mods from Inakin, but that is about to change. And then this is a biggie right here because this is what everybody's going to, and if you're unfamiliar with why they call them Clapton coils, it's because when you look at the wire that they use in these coils, it literally looks like a guitar string. It's one wire with another wire wrapped around it, at least one wire. Sometimes they're fused. You'll have two wires with a wire wrapped around it, but you'll know it when you see it. And the reason why people like these is because you can run them at higher wattage. With the coil being the way it is, it has more surface area. The juice can get into those crevices. There's a lot of different reasons why Clapton coils are desirable. These are made for all the Inakin sub-ohm tanks. Recommended wattage on these 30 to 70 watts. I'm going to pull one of these out of here because this is what I'm going to put in the tank to use today. Let's take a look at it. So it looks just like the rest of their coils, 0.5 ohm. Now you'll note that it says BVC here on the bottom. So it either means bottom vertical coil or bottom vertical Clapton, which is different. You can see that it is a vertical coil in there because let's look at, this is what they previously looked like. You can see that the coil in there is actually horizontal. This by the way is the 2.0 ohm coil. And you can see that the juice flow holes are just a lot smaller on here. So let's go ahead and drop this into this tank right here. Now, if you haven't seen the review on the iSub Apex, the only thing that I can see that's different about this tank is that the drip tip is a black Delrin drip tip. It's a top fill and this is your airflow here. The air actually is going to flow down through that and into the bottom down here and into the coil and back up. So really easy to replace the coils in these tanks. You just pop it out like that and then drop another one in here and you'll see that there's like a slot right there and a slot on the coil itself. It just kind of fits right into that. It's part of their no spill technology. And then you just put this back on here. So you really didn't have to open the tank up at all to replace your coil, pretty cool. Now we do already have a link on here for the iSub Apex and all you have to do is look right up here 
There's a link popping up and you can go watch that video. We're going to be using some boosted juice today. Uh, this juice was actually sent by Brad's Vapor. I've talked about him before. I'll put a link down in the description and, and just super nice guy that is like so hands-on with his customers. He had this on the Facebook group and I was like, I haven't tried that yet. So boom, it showed up in my mailbox and thank you, Brad. I appreciate that. So to fill this tank up, we just open up the juice holes like that. I personally still like to close those airflow. It just helps to keep the vacuum in the tank. And then we just take the dropper and we drop it in just like that. All right, so the tank is all filled up now and I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit so that that coil can get nice and saturated. It's the Clapton coil that I've got in here, so we'll see how that goes. This boosted juice, man, this is some tasty stuff. The flavor on this is like strawberry quick. If you like strawberry quick or the milk at the bottom of a strawberry cereal, you're gonna like this. They also have a bunch of other flavors, including one that's a uh, seasonal holiday only one that is pretty darn good too. Okay, so they sent the blue, the red, the black, and the silver, all four of the different colors, and I'm gonna give away two of them, uh, one of them on YouTube here, and one of them on Instagram. So I brought the black one in here today though, because I wanted to show you the box actually has kind of like a, I don't know, like a prism type sheen on it, all the boxes do. And this is the complete vaping system. This one particularly says it has the I sub G in it, and the reason why I wanted to show you is because it's the blacked out I sub G. There are a couple of difference between the mods as well. Like this blue one, the finish on it is a smooth painted finish. And the finish on this one is much like the old one. It's kind of got like this, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a texture to the aluminum. But this right here is why we're showing you the black one real quickly. This is the I sub G blacked out tank. Pretty sweet. If you're not familiar with that tank, I also have a review for that here on the channel. Okay, so this is the Cool Fire 4 Plus complete vaping system. I'm sure you'll be able to buy the mod solo by itself. And there's probably different combinations, like you can get the kit with the Apex tank or the iSub-G, probably slightly different prices or something like that. But this is what they sent me. Let's take a look at the box. You got a scratch and check over here. Again, you got that kind of nice uh, prism-y looking sheen on here. They are really big about warnings and safety, and they're telling you to only make sure you use a high-quality CEUL certified 5-volt 1A wall charger. So here's some facts about it. Let's just take a look at that real quick. And more warnings. So the tank that I filled up a little bit ago and this right here were inside of this box. So let's go ahead and pull this out of here. A really nice packaging here. And previous to this, Inokin was kind of putting everything in those plastic boxes, but this is a little different for them. So I kind of like it. The Apex tank was inside this box right here. And all of the stuff that you'd expect from the Apex tank is in there. Got a glass drip tip, more coils, and there's some extra O-rings and all that kind of stuff. Again, you'll see that in the video for the Apex tank. And then you pop this thing out. And down here, they give you a high quality USB cable. Got a couple of Vinikin stickers down there and then a user manual that, man, I tell you what, again, all kinds of warnings in here. And that's great because it's one thing, listen, this company is all about safety. And if you're just getting into vaping and you want something that's going to be safe, or maybe you're going to get something for a parent or something, a little thing telling you about battery level, there is a battery level indicator on here around the button that will tell you, you know, it's either green, yellow, or red. Let's check out the device itself. And what I'm going to do is bring in the previous Cool Fire 4. And so this is the plus, this is the original one. There's some differences here and there's some similarities. This one's a little bit fatter. This one's a little bit skinnier. You know, this one was nice, but I, this was a problem for me. See how small that screen is on there? This one hasn't been charged in a while, but that screen is so small that I had a hard time seeing it. It was like, dang, all right. So, but it was a nice mod. So let's just do this. That's what it looks like from the bottom of it. You had this on and off switch on here that you could just completely turn it off. This one does not have that. It's not quite as skinny over here on the front end, but it still has that kind of you know, a hand grip type thing, which is actually where the battery is housed. You still have the venting here to uh, to give air to the chip and also venting for your battery. They got rid of this little loop thing here for a lanyard, which is just fine by me because I don't know, I don't know anybody that used them. Still have the, uh, the button here had the lights around it and this one has the lights around it too, so that's good. USB is still here on the front at the bottom. This one, the old one had like these little chiclet buttons down here. And this one has little round buttons that are really easy to see the plus and minus are right on them. I just think that the plus looks a lot better. The old one only went to 40 watts. The new one goes, let's see, we're at 30 watts right now. You see that nice, big, gorgeous display right there? The new one goes all the way to 70 watts. Huge improvement right there. And the battery size has improved. I cannot remember what this one is, but 3300 mAh, that's a good size battery. It's gonna last you a while. So, I mean, that pretty much covers the mod right there. We got stainless steel threads and a spring-loaded firing pin there, a positive pin. So every one of your tanks is gonna sit nice and flush on here. So let's take a look at the screen. Your battery meter's over here. 
your wattage is there, ohms up on the top, and your voltage is right there. Now this is not a temp control mod, just like the original one wasn't. Okay, so I put the iSub Apex tank back on here, and you'll note that the glass in it matches the color of the mod. So what I did before I put that on there is I went ahead and turned it off just by hitting the button three times, the fire button, and you get a little sequence going through the, the lights on the button and the Anakin technology logo and it comes on. So if you want to put this into voltage mode, then you can do that just by hitting the down button and the fire button. And now it's in voltage mode and you can adjust your voltage up or down. And if you want to go back to wattage mode, you just hold those down like that. And now we're back into wattage mode. It round robins from six watts up to 70. And then, you know, you can go, you know, you can go down like that. Or if you go all the way up to 70, oops, if you go all the way up to 70, then it goes back to six. Okay, so if you try to adjust it though, after you've hit the fire button, then it will not adjust. What you have to do is hold one of the buttons down. And when it starts flashing, then you can start changing. It's in 0.5 increments, or you can just hold it down and it'll go fast. When you do vape it, by the way, you will get a little seconds counter. It'll tell you how long you've been puffing it for. Then it goes back to the timer. And if you wanna flip the orientation of the screen, you just hold both of the buttons down and it flips. You also notice that little five on there. That's how many times I have pressed the fire button since I turned it off last. All right, so that's the Cool Fire 4 Plus. It's pretty sweet. And if you want to win one of these, again, fill out the Google form that's right here at the top of the description. All the information will be in there and I will select a winner and hopefully you'll win. Remember, it's the complete vaping kit like you saw here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is sat for a while and then I took a few vapes off of it to make sure we're good to go. Took a little break. Uh, let's see, so we're at 30 watts. This is at 0.48 ohms, the Clapton coil inside of this uh, iSub Apex tank. Let's get a vape at 30 watts. Great vapor production. The flavor off this juice, the boosted juice, just like Strawberry Quick, man. This stuff is tasty. We're going to go ahead with 36 watts. Man, that is really good. Let's just see if we can get this thing a little bit higher. Let's take it up. To, let's take it to 50 watts. Why not? And again, on the previous Cool Fire 4, you could not take it to 50 watts. It topped out at 40. Man. Now, again, if you want to see, oh man, that's sugar lips, got some sugar lips there. See, at a higher wattage, I'm getting, definitely see, you know, produce more flavor. It gets on the lips and kind of, it's lip smacking, man. It leaves the flavor on your lips and that's sugar lips. I love it. The recommended wattage on these Clapton coils, and again, it's a vertical coil. Uh, the recommended wattage is 30 to 70 watts. That was 50. I'm going to take it to 60. Usually when they say to up to 70, you know, uh, you're pretty good about five or 10 watts below that. You know, I don't, I don't like to push it. There's really no need to, but at 60 watts, I'll just go ahead and have one more. Definitely a warmer vape, almost a hot vape at 60 watts, which you would expect. That's some high wattage there. So again, this goes up to 70. I could take it all the way up to that, but I just don't need to at this point. I think this is a great device. If you were looking at that Cool Fire 4, you definitely want to be looking at the Cool Fire 4 Plus now. I haven't done this in a while, so I just want to thank you again, man. I tell you, your support on the channel, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even Pinterest. Yeah, I have a Pinterest page now. My wife's on there all the time. Flick, 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 flick. I figured why not have a Pinterest page. But, you know, your support has been fantastic. And we're heading up towards 39,000. It'll be 40,000 subscribers very soon. And I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, enter to win one of these and make sure you go by notblowingsmoke.org and kasad.org. Get yourself signed up. You'll find out about all the calls to action and know what's going on so you can help the fight for our right to vape. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail Channel.